Hey, what's up? It's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm headed out to Burrito Key to meet up with Keith Morrison, and uh, we're going to go after some tarpon. And they have eluded me for about the past two weeks now, and hopefully today's the day to get one. We're going to try out, you know, a little more west because Pensacola Beach, they're their numbers, but they're just not uh, cooperating. So, I'm gonna shake things up and try out Perdido Key. Perdido Key is uh, just west of Pensacola Beach and is uh, just as pretty, and but a little different uh, water, water style, in my opinion. So, uh, I'm gonna try out and see how it goes. I'm gonna get in there and some sabiki some bait and uh, then let them fly and see what happens. So uh, stick with me. So the first order of work of any BTB trip is to try to sabiki some bait. You usually need about 10 solid baits to last you for a, a good trip. On this morning we did it in about two casts. Uh, loaded up my bait tank real quick and, and started fishing. Hey, if you're looking for a solid kayak charter guide, don't be afraid to look up Keith Morrison here in Pensacola. He can be found on Facebook at uh, Kayak Fish Pensacola. He will definitely put you on top of some big fish. Once we got a dozen, we uh, just basically fruit spooled them back behind the kayaks and drifted real slow and just waited on something to hammer them. So I saw some bonito blowing up on top water, so I grabbed my rattle trap and just chunked it out there to see if I can get one, and he jumped on the lure real fast. On the rattle trap, baby. I think it's a bonito. Nope, might be a lady. Changed my luck. I knew changing my hat would do it. I think it's a. You just can't replace a lucky hat, man. It's a Vanita! It's a little Romora right behind you. Get in my boat! Get in my boat! Trying to stick to it. Come here. I should have put my glove in. Woo! Benita in the boat, Benita in the boat, first case. 
Trash can trio today. Yeah. Have you seen the Scooby Doo uh, YouTube video where Doo catches a tar pit on the Scooby Doo pole? Yeah. And he does it on the Spidey pole. Well, those little Daffy Duck poles? Really? Yeah. So I didn't know what this fish was for quite a bit. I thought it was a tarpon, but he just never jumped. And then all of a sudden I saw the, uh, the, the flash of green out there in the water and it was a huge jack creval. So prior to this fight, I'd heard a lot about Jack Creval. I heard a lot about how they were trash fish. But as far as the game fish, they're just as good as anything else, man. They're strong. They fight hard. They're determined. They don't give up. So you might as well just settle in for a long fight on these big jacks. key to fighting these big fish is you just got to basically stay smooth, stay calm, and just let your gear do the work. Let your reel uh, run out the line, let him take the line, use your rudder properly, follow him around, and just retrieve the line. Every time he gives you slack, you take it back and just repeat, and pretty soon you'll get him in.
wish I had the, uh, the conventional reel. I could just rest it on the side of the boat. If I was using that other rod, I'd just rest it on the side of the boat. At this point, he had started his death spiral, and they just go around and around in a circle, and if you can't reach down and grab his tail, he'll just keep doing this for like 20 minutes. Getting to the boat wasn't the hard part. It was getting him in the boat, because he just chilled under the boat going in circles for what seemed like 20 minutes. We got that fish in. Keith Morrison, wingman over here. <laughs> we did it. Let's go get another one. Holy shit! Did you lose him? That was getting intense. <laughs> I missed it all on camera. Missed it all. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen in my entire life. That fish was bigger than your kayak. Is there a wet spot on you right now? Holy shit. I hope everybody on the beach saw that. Woo! <laughs> Did he cut you off? Dang.
Hey, hey, try doing that to me. Hey, as soon as I said that, you got that bite, dude. I'm telling you. And I missed it all on camera. Missed it all, man. Our YouTube, I gotta tell you what just happened, okay? I'm talking to YouTube over here. Freaking. This tarpon just took his bait, and the camera came on too late to catch the run and the jumping and everything behind his kayak. No joke, this thing skied up four times, and then cut him off. It was the biggest fish I've ever seen in my entire life. This tarpon was like as big as this dude's kayak, okay? Big old silver thing. Jumped at least four times.